Hey folks, and welcome back to Modern Skyblock Departed. Probably should have waited until morning before I did my intro, but oh well. Uh, the only thing I did between this episode and last is I made a double crusher, a coal generator, and an atomic reconstructor. Uh, and the reason I did that is because I, for some reason, believed I could crush down the diamond armor and weapons I'd been getting from... Uh, mobs. Uh, not the case. I've also taken down that because um, I did complete... Uh, where are you? Oh dear, everything is unlocked. <laughs> okay, I thought this might have been the case. Uh, there was a big update. Um, it added AgriCraft into the pack. Um, so if I go to quest book I should do reload quest book. Done. Back. Reloaded quest database, loot database. Now what? Everything still up? Yeah, everything is still unlocked. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I just think the way things are done is different now. I'm allowed to see into the quests now. Um, but I can't do any of the quests in them, if you know what I mean. I th just think that's the way things are now. Which is fine. That is something that people were uh, requesting, and here you can see. This is why we did a reload, because we've got some new stuff. They added AgriCraft, as far as I know. Um... Yeah, there in basic farming, we've got a whole agricraft thing now. Uh, and where we left off last episode is we got access to basic factory. So if we go up to quest book, yeah, we've got basic farming here unstarted, uh, which leads into a master chef. But now I can do things like see what's ahead of me, right? Heavy machinery, life in the forest, and some true magic. So if we look for some true magic, I guess it'll be in order. Yeah, that gives us access to silent gems. Okay. And, nope, silent gems there. S uh, spectral stuff here, imbuing station from, oh gosh, what is it called? The Cthulhu-esque one, I believe, maybe? And also uh, Psy, with its uh, fantasy skin on. Life in the forest, forestry, and heavy machinery. I had a feeling life in the forest might be forestry and, um, gosh, what's it called? Twilight Forest, but no such luck. And, um... Come on, brain. <laughs> Immersive engineering. There we go. Got there eventually. So to access these two, we'd need to do a basic factory. And to access some true ma magic, we'd need to do Britannia. Britannia's quest is different. No? No, it's not. Okay. This is different. <laughs> now it's 256 of any tall mystical black flower. Uh, rather than specific ones, but this one is not different. Okay. Um, to access this, you'd have to make 64 machine upgrades. And to do this one, you need to make a bunch of tempered stuff. I'm really interested in getting into factory tech. I know I'm putting off Britannia. I'm sorry for those who want to see me get into Britannia. Um, it's just that factory tech is new, and I like new stuff. I really should just disable this mod. Because I have been told on good authority that these guys are not used for anything. And uh, all they do is get in the way and make loud noises. Okay. I'm not sure how to do the magic damage I need to, to kill these guys. Um, we don't have to kill them yet though, so that's good. As you can see, I've made a rail going that way. Um, Indicating that I am going to put a platform in that direction. I was going to make a stairway down. So, but 
if I'm going to do factory tech, that was for Britannia. <laughs> um, if I'm going to do factory tech, I kind of want to come off this thing. So uh, I'm going to get to that. Okay, I think that will do for this episode. That's the platform looking back on the base. Yeah, nice and big. It's bigger than this one um, by four blocks uh, in each direction. So let's put these back. And we're going to do quest by the numbers here, unlike um, the mods that I normally know. Uh, because I don't know factory tech, and I would like to know factory tech. So we have access to um, pipes from Buildcraft, as well as factory tech, which is interesting. And an autocrafter, which, oh no, that is factory tech. Okay. So resources from rivers let's start here uh, the river gate when placed near water and given wooden meshes generates iron nickel and copper nuggets it needs to be between y level 60 and 70 i don't think yeah we're at y level 92 oh boy okay um so that was called the river gate make that platform and the first thing we do has nothing to do with that platform good on me so wood wood and wood fair enough let's make that all right wooden gate uh river mesh sorry and we need to fill this with meshes which mesh was part of the uh recipe so i'll just do that i love balance grid balance grid is so useful so they stack to four you can only put four in at once Good to know. Invalid location. Yes, it is an invalid location. So sad. So I guess it has to be flowing. We shall see. Good thing we have a little squid area because that lets us actually try this out. Let's get down here. Sorry, 55 down here, that's nice. So if I put you here, and hmm, I need some cobblestone. I return with cobblestone, okay. I'm going to, just because of the shape of this thing, I'm gonna do this, and I guess I should make sure you go off the edge if you do work this way. Nope, maybe. Still invalid location. Between 60 and 70, so it has to be, uh, all right. All right. And I'm at 55. I suppose between 60 and 70 is where rivers would normally appear if this weren't a sky block. <laughs> That's just the vanilla Y level of rivers. Okay, so, um, yeah, okay, one, two, three, four, five, let's go up to 61, there we go, and then we'll do the same test again. go there still say you're in an invalid location uh, between Y level 60 and 70 um maybe it's gonna say that until it has flowing water science it's another science episode folks Get used to it. Still says invalid location. Hang on. The river gate when placed near water and given wooden meshes generates iron, nickel and copper nuggets. It needs to be between Y level 60 and 70. So if I take these out and break you. I'm going to 
try this configuration. Still says invalid location. Okay. I guess we try lifting this whole thing up a bit. Give me that. Thank you very much. Trying to get some of this back. I really need to get into Britannia far enough to get the um, magnet ring. I'm being very lazy um, in terms of that. It's one of the first things I should have got. Let's go up to 65. It's like the middle. Still says invalid location, so I don't know. Very strange to me. I'm gonna put these up and we are going to move on for now because uh, I'm a little confused as to why you would say it's invalid location when I'm following the instructions in the book. Yeah. So I should probably light that up in the future. <laughs> oh no. I don't know why I didn't think to light this up to be quite honest. Oh good skeleton, hello. You guys can cut that right out with the exploding. Denied. You are denied to explode. One of you might though. The way things work. Yeah, there we go. Good thing that they don't grief in Skyblock. It's very, very nice. There's all those catalysts I needed. <laughs> Get out of here, dude. Not welcome. Now my inventory is full of junk. Throw some of this out. Don't worry about that chiseled stuff, it can be cloned later. I'm gonna throw out the wooden mesh for now. And the common loot bags. I know I can put them in my uh, loot sorter. Alright, actually I'm gonna go deal with the stuff in my inventory and then I'll be right back. Speaking of the loot sorter, um, turns out the best one to make is actually the epic loot bags. Because the epic loot bags, I forgot I could actually check the content of these, but um, the epic loot bags have the highest chance of, unless the loot has changed in this version, have the highest chance of mega loot packs, which have been very good to me so far. It's got a chance for all three types. Um, Artifact has, this is what Artifact ha can give you. It's a joke. <laughs> Don't go for Artifact. Artifact can give you very little. Um, that's the only thing. Origins of Darkness um, is the only thing that is even slightly interesting and that's in the other loot bags. So I don't think Artifact loot bags have actually been um, properly looked into yet for the mod pack. Uh, and this one can get you only the epic mega loot case. So, um, that's why I'm going for epic. Because that has the highest chance of epic loot. Right, Acacia Tome. We're going to ignore you. Well, we're going to claim you, actually. I'm going to claim this loot chest. Sweet. I got a magic bean. Is slightly more useful than the other loot has been so far. <laughs> um, let's light this thing up. Okay, platform lit up. Finally, we move on. So, uh, 
Making blades. The grindstone allows you to make blades. Make a grindstone. Grindstone. We need a basic gear and an electric motor. Basic gear is stone and four ingots. And basic motor is a basic gear and some nuggets and stuff. Okay. Okay, I think I have everything for the grindstone. So this and this and that and this and these. Yeah, okay. Stick the grindstone down. And claim this one. Nope, there's more. Okay, I have to make a saw blade and a nickel cutting blade. So this is why it wanted me to get nickel. I can make nickel though, so I'm not too worried. Um, okay, so I need another gear. I moved some stone up here to avoid um, having to go back down all the time. I am not low on iron, by the way. Now, it looks like I'm low on iron. What you're actually seeing is laziness. <laughs> so if I go that, I'm going to need some more iron. This should have been plugging away. It was. There we go. See? Plenty of iron. And somehow I ended up getting turned around and going in the wrong direction. Good one, me. So, uh, we need to make a saw blade. Saw blade. Basic saw blade is a basic gear in a grindstone. So again, four of you and one of you. I don't see any power source needed for factory tech. So I'm just going to assume this will work. Uh, in here, please. Yeah. Rad. We get a saw blade and then a nickel blade. Nickel. That is not how you play it. Spell nickel. Okay. Nickel cutting blade requires a nickel ingot. Fine. Alchemical nick is two glowstone and an iron. I will be right back. This is how much uh, alchemical iron I had lined up, by the way, with this hopper. <laughs> Just thought I'd show you that while I'm making this nickel. And nickel. Okay. So now we can make our cutting blade. I'm sure I'll have to make more nickel in the future. In you go. And we have a nickel cutting blade. So that finishes that. Now we claim the middle one. What do we get? De decorative pink sheep. Okay. So the quest rewards are still useless despite having three choices for everything. <laughs> uh, moving items in all directions. We want to make a auto injector. A auto injector? Auto ejector. A pulse piston. An insertion hatch. Transporter rollers. A fan lift. And a lift receiver. I will be back when I have all of those things. Uh oh, come across a bug I think. Uh, if I look at hoppers, any old hopper, a hopper is an unfamiliar item to me. Uh, and it says I require, you need stage BA first. And that stands for basic automation, which I have. I have basic automation. Uh, basic automation is complete. I mean, it, th there is a chance that maybe it's because of this. Basic farming. Um, and I've completed this, so I'm going to cheat this in actually. Um, doing some troubleshooting in person. And then boron ingots. Ferroboron. Boron. So 
that is done, we'll just dispose of the extras. Does that for some reason allow me to access hoppers now? It shouldn't. Yeah, unfamiliar item. Okay, uh, let me take a look at this and I'll be right back. Okay, so the only thing I can think to do, uh, because I need, if I'm going to make this work, um, I'd need to be able to reset this quest and then complete it, but I need the quest ID for that and I don't know how to retrieve the quest ID. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going, because it's a different mod, the stage mod is a different mod to the quest mod. If I do something like game stage add, Rx stage BA because BA is the missing stage. Excuse, unlocks the stage for the player. Add. Oh. <laughs> BA. Here we go. So that should allow me to now make a hopper. There we go. Okay, wonderful. Now I can keep going. So, yes, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of uh, bug testing. And this is why you keep cheats on in case you run into things like this. I am vindicated in taking those couple of episodes to make a, um, a source of infinite stone, by the way, because this so far has used quite a lot of stone in its recipes. What next am I making? Fan lift and lift receiver. I think I'll keep you around for those. Fan lift you, you being the audience. Um, we need to make a piston. I don't think I have any cobble up here. I don't. Uh, if I grab some cobble. I'll grab a couple of stacks. There we go. May as well keep some up there like I am with the stone. Can live there. One, two, three, four. This side is a mess. I'll reorganize this at some point. Give me some of that. One of you. Three of you. One of you. And a second piece of redstone. And that should be everything we need for a fan lift. Good. And then finally, lift receiver. Lift receive. Uh, five bits of wood, two sticks, and a I need it. They gave me one more than I needed, or maybe I had one more than I needed, but doesn't matter. We have it. Lift receiver. Moving items in all directions. Get out of here. Comment from YouTuber. Or not, sorry, well, I don't know that they are not a YouTuber, but I won't make that assumption. Pitcher plant. <laughs> that is actually surprisingly useful. Um, had that happened a while ago. That's infinite water. Um, so that's fun. I have infinite water now, but you can get infinite water from a plant. So that's cool. Okay, so... This means we can move things around. Now I'm going to have a play around with this stuff. Um, I believe it's all in-world interaction things. So if I come up here, uh, I should probably light up those stairs, huh? Get out of here, creeper. Uh, so a fan lift. Let's use a friend of pearl. No? Okay, I probably need a redstone. Alright, I made some levers for test purposes. So. Yeah, okay, particles. That's a good sign. Yep. It's kind of obvious how that works, right? And then... I don't know what a lift receiver does. 
But if I was me, I'm gonna need an inventory for this. Your work that is probably the wrong way around. Or not. No? I was hoping that would start ejecting the uh, iron ingots, but maybe it only works on um, the machines itself. And I had rollers, transport rollers. So the, the lift receiver, right? It is, is that going to receive items to put onto a lift or do I simply roll it above the lift or what's the deal here? That's pointing down. That's like something goes into it, right? So if I did these rollers like this and then threw a lever on it, that's like Yeah, that, that's to make something fall, I think. Or or fall in a predictable way, um, so it doesn't go flying everywhere. Maybe. And if I was me, and I am, then you would work like that. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, well, that was bound to happen at some point. Cool. And an insertion hatch. So, I know you're not an inventory, but we'll... Yeah, that's not how that works. <laughs> Maybe we, this will work with the chest. Put you there. Maybe they need to have a roller connected. No, they don't. Where did you go? Oh, you went up there. Ah, uh, hang on. Maybe that didn't. Okay, no, that did work. It just decided to put something, put it into the one above it. Yeah, so I'm not sure how the auto inject works. Everything else kind of makes sense. I think we'll do one more and then we'll wrap up the episode. Because uh, we're going to probably get into actual, yeah we are, getting into actual things here. Things and stuff. Maybe we'll do pipes. Let's do pipes. Because pipes are going to be super useful. Like for things like that. Which I could possibly tidy up using pipes. So, uh, redstone, engine... Two wooden gears, a piston, glass, and three. Is that very specifically? No, okay, that's any wood. <laughs> it just didn't rotate in the time I had it open, so I thought it might have been very specifically for that. One, two, three, four. That's the piston. I've forgotten how to make wooden gears, which is why I'm putting that off. Wooden gear. Right, stick and four. Do you have four logs now? You want four logs? You do want four logs. It's awful. Uh, I have combined four logs in here. Hopefully it won't care. It doesn't care. That's awesome. I need a piece of glass. Do I have a piece of glass? Because I think I might have just turned all my glass into... Oh, yes I do. I have a piece of glass on me. Good stuff. And then you wanted a bunch of types of pipes. You wanted golden pipes, you wanted clay pipes, you wanted iron pipes, and you wanted wooden pipes. So, pipe. Wooden pipe. Wood and glass. Done. Iron pipe. Two iron, two gold. And then you want to 
wanted clay. I don't actually know about clay pipes. It must be a more recent thing for BC. I have never used them. That is not how you make a clay pipe. Clay transport pipe. Ah, full blocks. Oh, not this again. <laughs> I'm so used to scrolling over windows that I don't expect things to jump out of the inventory when I scroll over them. And clay pipes. Done. And uh, back to the top. Water stone. Yep, they're all just as useless as they used to be. But we have access to BC, so that'll be fun. And next episode, we're going to explore some more factory tech. Um, thank you for watching this science episode. <laughs> and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.